3.40 in the morning. We're going to New York. I'll explain more when we get there. Let's go. Guys, we barely made it. We're literally the last ones getting on this flight because our last one was delayed. Guys, we made it. We're in New York. I was gonna start this in the hotel room, but check-in's not till four. So we're just gonna start it on the streets. And what more of a fitting way to do it than just streets in New York. This is a part two to, I guess, my New York series. If you haven't watched the first video, go watch it. I came to New York in February, did a solo vlog, but now brought my boyfriend with me. This is our favorite city, so I'm super excited to bring you along for the whole thing. Today is Friday and we're here until Tuesday. Also, I'm excited because last time I came, I felt like I wasn't able to explore that much because I was doing a solo trip. And this time, now that Rena is with me, I'm not as scared to get lost. So we'll we're, gonna, lost we're gonna explore the city way more. Right now, we're just kind of trying to waste some time until check-in. I insisted that we take a 5 a.m. flight out of Texas. So we're here super early, but you know, we get a whole extra day. We're just gonna go in some shops, kind of waste some time, got myself a latte already. But welcome to the New York vlog. This trip is gonna be super good for me to just decompress take a little mental health break so i'm super excited um, that it's just the two of us and you of course on the topic of mental health and decompressing i wanted to chat to you guys about our sponsor for today's video so thank you so much to better help for sponsoring this video you guys may not know but my mental health journey started when i was very young i was diagnosed with anxiety when i was around nine or ten because i used to have really bad panic attacks when i was a kid over the years therapy has been so vital to my well-being and helping me overcome that and manage that so that's why i wanted to talk to you guys today about our sponsor which is better help therapy can give you the tools to approach the hard situations in life in a very healthy way better help's main mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible better help is able to achieve this because all of their therapy sessions for their users are done virtually so you can do it from the comfort of your own home therapy has been a huge game changer in my life and if you're struggling with something similar and you want to talk to someone about it even if you're not struggling and just want someone to talk to then you can use the link betterhelp.com slash Annika Stevie to get you 10% off of your first month. I'm a huge advocate for talking to someone and talking through your problems and your situations. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I'll have all that info in the description for you guys. Soundtrack. Room tour. That's it. We made it to the hotel because they texted me at the room. <gasps> okay, now I can chat to you guys a bit more. I'm gonna get dressed and change because I am so crusty from the airport. Like, you know, after a day of traveling, what it feels like. It's 1.30. It's obviously been a very long morning. I know both of us are running on like two hours of sleep. So this is gonna be interesting. I am gonna bring you along for the whole thing. We're in our favorite city. Today is like super laid back. Obviously we just got in from Texas and I just want to change, freshen up. But today specifically, we don't have plans. I think we're just gonna stay in the area. Also the hotel we're staying at is called Untitled at Three Freeman Alley, I think. Last time I stayed at Modern House Soho. For anyone that's wondering, because I get comments on that video all the time asking where I stayed. Okay, here is outfit day one. I'm on this little strapless top from Naked Fashion. And then I have this like cropped button up to go over it. This is from Aritzia, baggy blue jeans, Massimo duty belt, and my sambas. And I think we're gonna go get food, probably pizza, because that just feels like right, that that's what we should get first. Okay, Renee's gonna join the outfit checks. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a cashmere sweater I got for my birthday. I made well. Um, slim jeans, and then I'm wearing these new olive dunks. And my hat is from Lids. Basic white t-shirt and a couple of my jewelry staples that I always wear. I'm so hungry. 
I have not eaten a crumb today. Oh. Not a croom. Guys, look, it's the Jerf Avenue pop-up. I wish it was still open. Quick outfit change. I'm so tired, but we need to go find dinner, so we're gonna go get something to eat. Changed into some comfier clothes, and it's kind of cold outside, so I put on my crew neck and this hat that I bought. to Soho Diner. In Tillage in my trip. I got a hot pink margarita. Good morning guys, welcome to day two. Last night I absolutely just passed out. I had been awake since like 3 a.m. and on the plane I only slept like an hour because I was editing the whole way. I was definitely running on fumes yesterday. I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly and then we're gonna head out. already met such cool people here like there's just cool people walking around like all the time this is so small i'm like everything is balancing on top of everything and i'm really trying not to like knock anything over i don't know where Renee went i thought he went down for my coffee and he like never came back also i think it's gonna be fun that you guys get to see more of my relationship on this probably the most you're ever gonna get to see because we're like he's literally with me for the entire thing outfit day two before i head out i have like an all white type thing going on the top is from Zara cute little oversized sweater. These pants are made well. Then I have on the Jack Mew Nike collab sneakers. They're put my hair in a headband. I think right now we're going to walk around Soho a bit and then head to Washington Square Park and we'll just see what we get up to. Such a pretty morning. Look at the alleyway like from our hotel. It's so cool. So cool. How do you feel? I feel great. Are you excited? They started. Yeah. We came to Black Sea to get a bagel. I got a salmon one. We're gonna go ahead and just egg and cheese. But it's like gone already. <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna get some content. I'm gonna try and set you up so you can watch.
I just changed in the room and I'm much comfier now. I think we're gonna walk to Washington Square Park. And also, my current read is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. We've been resting in the room because I was so exhausted. Oh my gosh. I look crazy. You do look crazy. I'm just gonna freshen up my makeup. It's date night. We're going to an Italian place and I'm super excited. I'm just gonna add some stuff to liven up my face. Okay guys, this is my date night outfit. I have on this leather blazer from Aritzia, I got it a few years ago. And then this like strapless dress from Naked Fashion, some black heels to go with it. And I also put on some press-ons from Olive and June and they actually look super pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna go try and get some content in this look and then head to dinner, but it's only a two minute walk. So it should be easy. today's outfit i have this top on from massimo duty um this little skirt from zara it's actually a skirt, so it's like city safe and then i have on these new balances from ma leon Dor. we're gonna head out now get some breakfast and then we have some exciting things planned for today bagel day two been to a Broadway show in so many years. I'm so depressed they took the Phantom of the Opera off Broadway. I literally had the whole soundtrack memorized. Coffee two of the day, I got a dirty chai. I'm so excited. I honestly don't know much about what it's about, but I know it's like a cult favorite. at the room for a few hours after hamilton we just walked around times square we went into a few stores the show was so good we're going to dinner now i'm so tired i made these reservations at a french place so we're gonna go i'm going to wear these converse with this outfit i thought they were blue when i bought them but they're actually black i got them at kith and they have like a little pattern all over it
Also, it's raining like super bad. <laughs> we did walk here. Back in the room now. I've just been editing a vlog on my laptop, but I just wanted to give an update. I feel like I haven't sat down to chat with you guys in a little bit. Um, today was so much fun. I've just been so tired at the end of the day. This trip is definitely different from my solo one because since Renee is obviously here with me, I am walking so much more. I'm able to stay out later because I just like feel safer that I'm not by myself. We've gotten to explore so much more, walk a lot more. I also wanted to tell y'all that I finished on the plane the Lisa Jewell book I was reading, which was called None of This is True. And let's just do like a little mini book chat. I loved that book. I am gonna rate it five stars. I think I'll give you guys a more in-depth review and like a different vlog. I really liked it and I'm super happy about that. Also because I didn't like the last book of hers that I read too much. So this was like a pleasant surprise. The plot twists were good. The pace was good. The whole mystery aspect of it had me on my toes the entire time, even up until the end. I was shocked and I was invested in the story. I just recommend it if you're looking for a good thriller, good mystery, especially for the spooky season. And now I'm reading The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I'm only like 10 pages in, so I have no opinions on that yet. And I guess I will see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna shower, it's literally midnight. And Hamilton was great. Great. The cast was amazing and now I understand also the hype around that. I just love Broadway so much. I've loved it so so much since I was a kid. I'm really really sad that The Phantom is not on Broadway anymore because that was like my favorite show. But Hamilton was amazing. The cast was amazing. But I will see you guys in the morning for our final day. the walking has been taking me out. I like it though. I wish Texas was walking friendly. Like tiny pieces of every city are like walking friendly. Oh, yeah. Austin, no. We're gonna go to Sidell's for breakfast because I went last time when I was in New York by myself, not even knowing that it was like, I guess like a well-known spot. Um, so I wanna take Renee with me. stuff that I bought over like the last three days because I have bought a few things. Oh, first thing is this hat. It is an Aimee Leon Dor hat. Also got these Converse from Kith. I like the pattern on them and I've been looking for like some high top Converse. I thought they were navy when I bought them. I think they're actually black, but so cute. And then I got these New Balances from M.A. Leon Dor. And yeah, they're just like so cute. They look very vintage. And then right here they have like the brand name on the tongue, which is super cool. For some clothing, same place. I got this t-shirt, just a good oversized tee to have this crew neck it has gold embroidery on the front so pretty the last thing i bought so far is the sporty and rich crew neck i like it because it says health and fitness and not like the brand name so big that's all i've gotten so far oh wait i'm lying i went to this bookstore in soho i don't remember the name of it and i got this book the roughest draft i've heard Several people talk about this. It's like an older release, but I heard that it's very comparable to like Beach Read and like the storyline of Beach Read and I never see it when I'm book shopping and they had one copy of it. So I just decided to pick it up because it's been on my TBR for a while. And then the last two things are stationary because I could not help myself when I walked into like the most extravagant stationary store ever. They had every type of notebook and planner that you could think of and that is just my heaven. Got this notepad that's like graphing paper. I'm just gonna keep this on my desk for when I need to like write things quickly down. And then I got this white linen journal. 
and I don't want to open it yet, but it's just regular, like a line journal, but the cover is like white linen, which is really cool and unique. That's the NYC haul so far because maybe I'll buy some more stuff today. Here is the last day's outfit, super simple. I already showed you guys this cap and then I have on this leather jacket from Motel Rocks with a brandy tank top under, but I'm gonna head to Blank Street, which is this coffee shop that I found. Guys, the update is it's not going well. <laughs> we got so soaked, pretty awful. Um, there's a 30 minute wait, so we're just sitting here. Super gloomy and rainy. I'm gonna go back to the hotel and change because guys, I literally got drenched. Like I got soaked. Like you would think I went swimming in my clothing. The vibes of this song in a fall autumnal in New York. I came to Joe and the Jews. My first time trying one of their sandwiches. in the hotel room now it's like 7 p.m and i came back to dry off because it just it's been raining on and off it's actually been really hard to walk around today but i will say i really like that it actually feels like fall here it's making me sad to go back home because i know it's extremely hot here i get to wear my sweat sets and like my crew necks and i still can't do that in texas so I'm definitely getting a little bit sad to leave like i always do i was watching some youtube on my laptop and resting and then i started planning some stuff on notion because if you leave me on my laptop for too long i will just end up planning stuff on notion planning some videos but i did buy a few things when i was out earlier basically we just popped in and out of places like in soho and then we went through chinatown because like i said it was raining so much so it was really impossible to like just walk around outside and i'm gonna give you a haul okay so i went to sporty and rich it's basically like a wellness inspired like vintage brand so um i got this cap there it says wellness on it super cute and then i got my mom something because i thought she would like if i brought her like a piece of clothing rather than like a touristy thing i know she wouldn't want that um, so I wanted to buy her like something cool that we can't get back home. I got her this wellness crew neck because my mom is also a little, she's a health nut too. And then I bought three t-shirts. I got this Adidas one. They did a collab with Adidas and it's like this cream color. And then I got this one that says stay active, live longer. I like the like periwinkle color of it. And last one I got says be nice, get lots of sleep and drink plenty of water. They're all like oversized tees, so it'll just be super comfy to wear from home when I'm like working, but want to put something cute on. And they just opened their flagship store like two weeks ago. These aren't mine, but I was just talking about the Adidas collab. Renee got these sporty and rich Adidas Samba collabs, and I'm so jealous about it. I went in there looking for them for me, and they didn't have my size, but they had his size. And I've seen a lot of guys wearing them, and it looks so cool. These are really cool. I'm wearing the other thing I wanted to show you. If you watched my last New York vlog, you know I went to this store called New Top Jewelry. It's in Chinatown and this lady sells like really pretty gold pieces. And I bought this little charm and Renee has the other half of it. So I went back because you can only get them here and they're super cute and high quality and I can like shower with it and everything. And I got these two charms and a chain to put it on. One is a little New York Yankees charm. I wanted like a New York one. And then I got this boot, cowgirl boot, because 
Texas. Felt like it's like my two fave places. Now I think it just stopped raining. So we're gonna go walk around, enjoy the last part of the day before I have to pack up and leave. Okay guys, that is it for me. That's it for this video. The trip is over and we're going home in a few hours. I just packed up all of my stuff, which was, it was a process. It's always a process with me. The bags are packed. We're ready to go. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for coming along with me. My reflections on this trip are that, of course, I loved it. I always love coming to New York. Um, always super inspiring, keeps me really motivated to keep working towards my goals. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the travel vlogs, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the New York vlogs, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm sure there will be more in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. You will see all the New York content over there. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I have a super early flight to catch, so I'm just gonna journal and go to sleep and I will see you guys in the next video.